Oh my god. <laughs> so bad. Alright, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're back at my house. I have some bad news. As you guys can probably tell by the title and thumbnail. But, so today is another beautiful day. It's around 50 degrees. Well, for me, that's pretty good for now at least because spring has just begun. As you guys can probably tell, it's a little bit more green around here than normally. Um, I have some news, a couple things. Uh, first thing I gotta talk to you about. So two videos ago, not last video, but the video before that, I asked for 50 likes in a week and I got 50 likes in like 19 hours, which is crazy, especially because before that video, I didn't upload for at least 18 to 20 days and that's not normal for me, but that's because we're in quarantine and I couldn't really go out and film anywhere because I couldn't. Now, there was an incident that I don't know if a lot of you guys know about after that video that I filmed at the, the, the I, I forget what you call it, the Dust Bowl, that's what you call it. So it's the graffiti spot, it's like the DIY spot in the, in the video two videos ago. Anyway, so a few hours after I filmed that video and we were done with that, we were just hanging out, I was trying an edit clip, right? And I landed it, but it was a little bit of a bad idea. All right, let me try to draw this out for you. So we got the the large bank that you guys probably have seen before at, in that video. You have a uh, like a highway thing, and then the highway on the other side. So I got up on top of the highway and jumped like on on the barrier into the bank, and somebody saw me, and they called the police. Basically, they told us that this place because it was that time that I filmed that video was the, like that, that was the second time I've ever been there, and unfortunately the police came and they told us private property or state property or whatever and some people like don't like us in there and they fence it off but eventually somebody breaks the fence or whatever so you can get through and like I said it was our second time there so we were pretty new we weren't the nest we weren't necessarily aware of what we were getting ourselves into so basically what we did they, they the cops came and they told us if they get if they get like a notification that somebody's there and it's us and they recognize us and blah 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 and we're there the second time they gave us a formal, formal warning, and if we go back and we get caught, it's a $300 fine. I don't think I can afford that right now because of the fact that I am not really making any money because we're in quarantine. And I have money saved up for other things, for other things from later on. This, I don't know. That's not the point. I don't have $300, and I would rather not give the police $300 for something that I'm not really doing for any money. I'm just kind of doing it for free, I guess. I asked for that like all before I knew all this, and I filmed it and edited it before I knew all this. And now I'm here to tell you because I need to tell you because I don't want to leave you guys hanging with no information that you might need. So it's possible, but it's extremely unlikely that we'll go back and try that, at least not in the near future, but I'll let you guys know how that changes if it changes. So that's the first bad news of the three. Okay, so the second thing is, if you guys have had your eyes open this entire video or however long it's been so far, I got a brace on my wrist and it's not a good thing. So a few weeks back I went back to, so a few weeks back I went to a spot with Little Man. It's down near the, like the town part of my area and I tried a bar spin over this gap. I landed awkwardly and my wrist and basically this hole from here down was pretty badly injured. Now at the time I had no idea it would be this bad and it's been like two weeks. I thought it would be like two days but I was wrong clearly. So I've been icing it and doing all that resting stuff. Have not moved it that much. That's why I'm only riding with one hand right now. So now I have this brace on and I don't know how that's going to help because I've only had it on for like three hours now. But um, we got that on and it's going to definitely limit me what I can do. It definitely hurts less riding but I can't do anything crazy and I'm not going to do anything crazy because I don't want to make it more hurt than it already is. All right, I know I've been talking a lot. I just need to inform you guys on a couple things. I'm gonna do the next part in a little bit, but I wanna ride, have a little fun while we can. So I'm gonna pick this rail up that I don't really ride that often, and I'll show you the reason why that is. So this rail is really sketchy, and here's why. So this thing is built of PVC pipe, which is a flexible but very slippery material in pipe form. Now there's one base of support there and another one here. We didn't really think about putting one in the middle, so this is what happens when you go in the middle. It flexes, but that makes it really difficult and weird to ride, which is also interesting at the same time. So normally I would go pretty rough on this thing, but because my hands kind of screwed up, I'm going to go pretty gentle. Now I don't even know if I can do this yet because I haven't tried it, but you guys will find out with me. Right, here we go. Okay, that wasn't bad. And you can clearly tell it doesn't make a lot of noise unless you're bouncing on it. All right, another heads up. Basically, um, the last like two videos that I filmed here are at my house, and I know that can get kind of boring pretty fast. So once my wrist heals up, we'll be going back into the streets. We'll do some like 
I don't know, we'll explore some spots, have a good time. It won't be here all this time, just letting you know that now. I probably would be out now, but my hand's broken, so I'm not gonna do that, because then I'll wanna ride even more, and then I'm gonna actually get it hurt even more, and then it'll just backfire. Let's try front board. All right, works pretty good. All right, I think I'm gonna try to do just like basic tricks out, because I don't wanna do anything crazy, like I said. We'll do 180, whip, heel, and I don't think I'm gonna do any bar spins. Front board, fakey. Sweet. Oh my god. <laughs> so bad. There you go. Now that time, believe it or not, you can actually use the bounce of this rail to your advantage. You can get more pop after the end when you're going off of it. Try heel whip, see if that works. Oh my god. One thing I'm a little nervous about when this quarantine thing's over and we can go ride the parks again, is I'm gonna be really rusty because I haven't been to the park in like three weeks and that's gonna suck when I go back. I'm gonna feel like I should be able to do stuff but I'm not gonna be able to do stuff which is gonna annoy me and then I'm just gonna die probably. Ugh. Yep, believe it or not, I did land that. Okay. Simple, forward, fakey, cab whip. Okay, that worked. All right, so a few days ago, unfortunately, we had a fat, thunderstorm and there was winds of like 40 miles an hour and this happened so normally the ramp looks like this with the white and the tape that keeps it all together and screwed all on top of each other the wind did, didn't like it so it just yoinked it all off and now it looks like this so not only is the white stuff gone the white tarp that we put over so it wouldn't get uh, all rusted and moldy and all that destroyed it also basically ripped off the bottom the 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 so basically there is the, the tarp on top of it, which is the weathering stuff, they have a smoother piece of wood on, on the below that, and there's the thicker piece of wood below that, and it took off the first two layers. So the tarp is gone, and the smoother piece of wood is three quarters of the way gone. That's what that is. So right now we're gonna fix that. And this didn't really happen because of the fact that it was poorly built, it was just, I think it's like five years old or something. I think we built it in like 2015, it's like 2020. It's been a while, so we're gonna fix that, and yeah. So basically what we're gonna do, we're just gonna put that white tarp over that piece of wood because that shouldn't be much of a difference. And I gotta sweep this off so we can do that and then we'll screw it right on. All right, so here's the tarp and it's stuck on the ground. We're gonna screw this piece of tarp on top of the wood and then it'll be good to go. So this duct tape. So we got that layer back on and it looks like it's good to go. Let me give it a little rundown. So there's all this stuff at the top and I'll just go down. That feels pretty good. I don't think it's gonna get any better dealing with what we have. Speaking of what I have, a lot of the times I get comments um, about my scooter, what I ride, and if you guys wanna know, I mean, obviously I'll respond to you, I'll tell you what I'm riding, but if you wanna know and you don't feel like commenting, go down in the description. It's all, every single one of my parts is listed in the description, every single thing that I'm currently riding. All right, we are done with fixing the ramp. All right, really quick before I go, if you guys are new, go down below and subscribe. Smash the like button, comment below anything you wanna know. I will 100% answer you. Anyway, that's it. I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day.